it's Allie here from alliesblog.ca. So today I have another nail design for the club or the challenge that I joined in on Instagram, which is the Glam Nails Challenge for the month of May. Um, so you may have seen a few designs on here on my YouTube channel, but all of the rest of them are on my Instagram at Allie's Blog. So definitely check that out and you'll see different designs there because I haven't been doing a video for every one of them, but I wanted to do a video for today today's um, prompt. So today for May 24th, the theme is bees. So I'm going to be doing a bees nail design. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all the different products I'm going to be using and we're going to get straight into the design. So first off for my base color, I am using this Zoya nail polish and this one is called Astrid. It is a beautiful flaky gold polish. So that is two coats on my nails right now with a top coat. Then the stamping plate I'm going to be using for today is this Moira stamping plate which is 44 and it's stained glass so there's a few different B designs on here that I'm going to be using. And I think I got this, yeah I got this from my Manny box. Alright, so I'm going to be stamping it with this painted polish, and this is Midnight Mischief. I'm going to be also using this Hit the Bottle polish. I just got this in my Manny box. This is Espresso Martini. Another Hit the Bottle. This one is Fireball. This is one of the, I think they're Jelly Bean collection. They're like a clear stamping polish. And another Hit the Bottle, and this one is called Bumblebee. And another one, we've got Hit the Bottle, and this is Purple Hooter. I'm using this polish I got from Polish Pickup, and this one is called Morpheus. Oh, and one more Hit the Bottle polish, and this one is Blue Kamika Kamikaze, I think. Alright, so we're just going to start with this B design right here. So we're just going to start with the black polish. I'm just going to take it off the stamper just so it's easier to fill in. And then we're going to take that yellow polish first, fill in a little B. So there's kind of two ways um, you can do use these polishes. So you can fill them in straight on the stamper or you can stamp the black design on your nail and then fill them in with the polish after because these are kind of like a transparent polish. So right now I'm just going to do on the stamper and I'll do the other way after. So I'm going to fill in a little bit of this like orange red fireball right here and then we're going to go over it with the yellow and we're going to kind of mix up the colors because you can make different colors with these which is neat. And then we're just going to do yellow there. Maybe add a tiny bit of red. These are definitely really cool polishes which I should use more but I always forget about them. And then we're just going to fill in the rest of it with the blue. And even if you don't have all the colors, like if you have just the primary colors, you can always make more colors by mixing them together. Alright, so just going to kind of let that dry a little bit so that it works for when we stamp. Alright, so we're going to just go ahead and just put it on this nail here. You can see how it shows oops, over the gold. I didn't get all the blue in there. But now, since I didn't fill in the wings, I'm going to fill in the wings. And I'm going to take that one polish. I 
And this is what I was saying, like you can fill it in after, especially if you have a clear polish or like a transparent polish like this, or even those ones that I was using, because you can still see it through, which you can probably do with a lot of different stamping plates, not just this one. But we're gonna go ahead and use a different design. So I'm gonna do this one here with a V down there. So the same thing, you're playing with your black. And then again, put it back in your stamper after it's dried a little bit. And we're going to stamp it right on the nail. Alright, so for the next one, we're going to use that same B design. <laughs> but this time, I'm actually going to just do it straight on the nail instead of um, painting it on the stamper. And I'll just see, show you how it's a little bit different, but pretty much the same. Sorry, I'm kind of running out of black. I should be using my other one. Right. And like I said, straight onto the nail. Alright, we're just going to do this one flower design and then it'll be my last <laughs> one. Um, but we're going to do it right on the nail. So, I am going to do, I have a green one, which I totally, I am going to also use this Hit the Bottle polish, and this one is called Shamrocked. I totally forgot I was going to use this one. Oh, and we're stamping on our nail. All right, so I'm just gonna clean up and top coat and we'll be done. All right, and that is the finished nail design. I think it turned out pretty cool. Not quite what I envisioned, but I still like it. So that's everything for today. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.